Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well today. I've been wanting to do a food challenge for so long and I've just never got around to it. So today I decided to do the only in yellow foods for 24 hours. Hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get straight on with it. So I'm currently going around and I'm picking all the yellow food out that I can find. I'm hoping that I can actually make some meals out of it, but we'll just have to see. But I think yellow is actually quite a good colour for food, like you might actually manage to find some meals for it. So I went to the drink section first and I could not resist picking up a mango and passion fruit smoothie. It looks so, so good. And then I went to more of the veg aisle and I found these sweet corn cobets. I'm obsessed with sweet corn. I love it so much. And um, fresh sweet corn is so, so good. So I picked these up. This isn't the most yellow thing in the world, but I'm gonna class it as yellow, but I'm gonna some cheese for maybe a snack, I think. And then I went to the yogurt aisle, and normally I get the red yogurts, but since it's like a yellow challenge, I thought I'd treat myself to some yellow yogurts instead. I don't actually know if these will be yellow on the inside, but I might as well try. So I also picked up some bananas too, because I thought that's the obvious choice for a yellow food challenge. The next thing I got was pineapple chunk that I thought I could have some fruit for my breakfast so I thought the pineapple would go down really well. I actually picked up some quavers too and I feel like I've not had quavers in forever but they'll be great for this challenge. So I couldn't actually find that much yellow food in Tesco's but I've got myself a banana, I've got some pineapple and I've also got a yogurt that was kind of yellow. So this is the food that I've got, I've got this mango and passion fruit drink here, this is smoothie. I love smoothies. The only things I really ever drink are water and smoothies. I rarely ever really get smoothies just because they're a bit more expensive. So I usually only really drink water. But for today, I'm going to be drinking this mango and passion fruit smoothie. I then got a tin of pineapple and a banana. And then I do have this apricot yogurt for dessert. So I'm actually quite excited to see how this is going to end up. I do quite like yogurt with banana, but I'm not sure how the pineapple will really fit in there. But I'm just going to make my breakfast now and see how it goes. So I've got my bowl there and I'm just trying to open the pineapple at the moment and I always like to get pineapple in juice rather than pineapple syrup because I'm really not a fan of the syrup. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to put in. So I'm just going to get a few pieces of this pineapple out and stick it in the bowl. I do like to make my fruit look quite pretty in the morning but since I'm only having pineapple and banana it's not that easy to really do that. So let's get a couple more pieces. There we go, one more. <laughs> so that's gonna do for that and then I'm gonna get my banana and chop it up. What's gonna kill me though is that I've been having like tomatoes on a night. It's just kind of a snack. I used to have grapes on a night as well, tomato and grapes on a night as a snack. But right now I can't do that. So that's gonna really, really annoy me. So I might have to have like another banana and some pineapple maybe. So I've got my banana there. I'm just going to chop this up. I've not put the dishwasher on because I don't really have much cutlery at all at the moment. This is the weirdest way of chopping a banana up, but I don't want to get a chopping board out. I don't want to sit on camera, so that'll have to do. So guys, that is my breakfast. So I've got my yogurt, I've got my fruit there, and then I've got my drink, and that's my breakfast for today. So I'm now having my breakfast, and this is such a good combination. I think the pineapple and the banana go really, really well together. I always have fruit in the morning because I think it's really refreshing, really hydrating, and just a really good great way to start the day this is what i have for breakfast and i always have done it's just the best way to start the day and it's just so tasty too so i'm just kind of stood in the kitchen eating my breakfast so i'm currently sat filming a get ready with me for next month and i've got my mango and passion fruit smoothie i am obsessed with this i wasn't 100 percent sure if i genuinely like it because I do like smoothies, but I don't actually know what passion fruit is. Like, I've never actually had passion fruit before. But I've had mango and passion fruit smoothies from McDonald's. And I used to have them on my break every single shift. I wasn't sure if I'd like the Tesco's own one. But this is honestly incredible. Like, I love this so much. And it was really cheap as well. Because I wanted to get one of, like, the innocent smoothie ones. Or one of the more expensive ones. But I was like, for the sake of the video. And literally for one day. I don't want to spend, like, £4 on a smoothie. Because that's a lot of money to spend on literally one drink. So I was like, right, I'll get it as soon as I think it was like £1.50ish, but it's actually really, really nice. And I've had some with my breakfast and I've got some for the side of me while I'm filming too. It's actually getting close to lunchtime. But I was planning to get all my stuff filmed before lunch, but it's really not looking like that now because it's nearly one o'clock 
and I've never started filming yet. I'm just about to start filming when I get ready with me. So I'll just have to see how it goes, but I'm hoping to actually be able to fit some lunch in. If not, I might just have to have a really late lunch and a really late tea. So I decided to have a little pineapple snack after my you now, and I honestly love pineapple. I think it's so refreshing and just such a great taste too. So I have my little snack and I love these cute bowls. I think it just fits perfectly. And I thought I'd have this little snack before my lunch. So I've had a shower and I filmed a video. So I'm now about to make my lunch. I'm gonna have some macaroni cheese because I love pasta. It's just one of my go-to foods. And that's what I'm gonna have now. I just need to find it out of the cupboard because I had to put it away. So I've got my mac cheese here. It's not really the most yellow food in the world, but it's got a yellow package and it's kind of as yellow as I could get. There's not many yellow things you can actually have as meals. So I thought this one would have to do. But I do really like mac cheese and I do have it for lunch every now and again when I've got like a more of a busy like a filming day. So this is what I'm going to cook. It only takes about two minutes in the microwave, which is easy as well. So I'm just going to sit this in the microwave now. So while I'm editing and watching TV, I do like to have a little bit of a snack. So I've got some cheese here and I've got some yogurt as well. I also got some quavers for snacks. So I've got quite a few snacks to have throughout the day. I do have a really, really unhealthy snack habit. I do like to have mini eggs and kind of like that mini egg chocolate. is like my favourite thing at the moment. I'm completely obsessed. I did buy a bag of mini eggs this video. I can only eat the yellow ones, obviously. But I've got quite a few snacks. I've got my quavers, cheese, yogurt and my mini eggs so i've got a few snacks for the day i'll be having a snack while i'm editing later on but i don't want to end up ruining my dinner so it's been on for just over a minute and a half now but there's a bit of a bang from inside so i felt it and it's quite hot so i'm just gonna leave it at that and i'm just gonna tuck in so mac cheese has to be one of my favorite go-to foods at the moment it's just so quick and easy to make and honestly it's so so good for like a whole day when you just get inside and you want some food to actually warm you up it's just such a quick and easy meal and i've really really been into it so after that i decided to have some quavers as a snack while i was just doing a jigsaw i honestly haven't had quavers in so so long so it really made such a nice change i actually enjoyed them more than i thought i would but the dog also was pretty desperate for a couple i think they're really quite a good addition to my yellow food day because there weren't actually that many snacks that you could get that were yellow and actually tasted good so i'm now preparing for my tea so i've just put some water in the kettle and boiled the kettle this is for boiling my sweet corn and cooking my pasta too this is such good quality pasta and i enjoyed it so so much so the meal that i ended up having was pasta with parmesan cheese and then i had sweet corn with butter normally i'd have ham with my pasta but because it was a yellow food only day i decided to substitute the ham for sweet corn but I think sweet corn goes so, so well with the pasta and I actually enjoyed this so, so much. So it's actually one of my go-to meals and this is something that I have for lunch nearly every single day. So while I was getting some editing done, I decided to have some of this cheddar cheese. It was so nice and it's just quite a healthy alternative snack. And then after this, I decided to try the yoghurt. I tried the lemon and lime one because I thought this was most likely to actually be yellow, which it was actually quite yellow, more than I expected it to be. It was so refreshing and so, so tasty, and I would definitely, definitely be buying it again. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. This has been me eating yellow food for 24 hours, and that is pretty much it. I'm now finished eating. I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to be so happy tomorrow when I can eat whatever I want because I've been so so attempted to just call this challenge off today because it's been so hard like i never realized how much i snacked until i did this challenge but yeah i really enjoyed this and i hope you guys have too if you want to see any others comment down below what color you'd like me to try out next and i'll see you later bye